In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss how to calculate a one-way ANOVA using SPSS. I'm going to show you how to input the data, do the calculation, and also I'm going to walk you through interpreting the results. This is a pretty simple example, but it should get you started. So before I jump into SPSS, I want to talk about what we're going to do. I'm going to take three samples and each sample has five observations. So you have sample one, sample two, and sample three. And again, each one has five observations. What SPSS will do for you is calculate your total sum of squares, your sum of squares between groups, and also sum of squares within groups. The way I input the data into SPSS is kind of funky. And I'm going to have two columns, and I'll have one column called sample and the other column called score. And in the sample column, I'm going to have the number of the sample, either one, two, or three. Now let me flip over to SPSS, and your worksheet looks something like this. Now I will click on the column heading and it flips me over to the data view and I type the word sample and I'm going to go over and change my decimals to zero decimals and ignore all this other stuff for now I want to keep this simple all these other columns now I type in the word score and also change the number of decimals to zero there are two views in SPSS there's a data view and the variable view which I was just in and you can switch between the two and you might want to just try that real quick to see the difference and I want to stay in the data view now and type in some numbers now I type in sample sample one five times because there's five observations in sample one and now I type in my values for sample one I type in two five times now so I just repeat two over and over again And now I type in my values for sample two. And now I'm doing sample three five times. I thought it's kind of funky, kind of awkward. And then my values for sample three. I should actually save this. So I'm going to click File and Save. So I click File, go down to Save, and I'll just type a name. I'm going to call this Example 2. And you can save this anywhere. Now I'm ready to actually calculate my ANOVA. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Analyze, Compare Means, and One-Way ANOVA. So I click Analyze. I go down to Compare Means. And I go over to One-Way ANOVA. Click. Now I click score, I click that middle button and I add that to my dependent list. Now I click sample and I add that to my factor, I call that my factor. And before I click OK, let's look at options real quick. There are a lot of other things you can do and try, but right now let's leave all those unchecked. We'll click OK and bada bing, right there's your ANOVA results. Now let me walk you through the results, how to interpret them. As you're probably guessing, the F score is 22.593, pretty self evident. The actual p value, p is equal to zero in this case, is calculated for you. You'd be so lucky to have a zero, that's good. And if anybody ever calls you a zero, just think probability, and that's a good thing. And total sum of squares is equal to 257.3. And I have other videos explaining what all this means in detail, but that's looking at total sum of squares as one big sample. Sum of squares between groups is equal to 203.3. And that's looking at the three samples and variance between them. Again, I'd encourage you to watch the other videos on the playlist. 
sum of squares within groups is 54. And that is looking at variance within a single group. DF. DF. DF is degrees of freedom. That column right there, as in DF. Now, if I look at this row right here, and I take 203.3333 divided by 2, this is equal to 101.667, which is that number right there. And now, let me look at this row, second row. If I take 54 divided by its 12 degrees of freedom, that's equal to 4.5. That's that number right there without all the zeros. And finally, if I take 101.667 divided by 4.5, that's my F score of 22.593, or that number right there. And this has just been an introduction to calculating ANOVA using SPSS. Not meant to be complicated, meant to be simple. Do watch the other videos on the playlist. Questions and comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, like us, share the knowledge, love us. And most of all,